Hey everybody, it's Joel from Talking Toys, uh, and today we are going to be doing a figure review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Spirit Iron Knife. Um, this is a six inch line. And um, with that said, we do with all toy reviews, we're going to start off with the box. So we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo, Spirit Iron Knife. We have uh, the artwork here for the character. Uh, in the back of the box, we have the G.I. Joe logo, or the little star um, on that side there. We have his... Uh, uh, different skill sets. Uh, he's number 36 in the series. We have the um, growing um, mural on the back here uh, for all the characters uh, released, released to date. And then on this side we have more of that artwork of uh, Spirit. So that takes care of the box. On the bottom you've got the little mumbo jumbo. You've got the star uh, for G.I. Joe and you got number 36 on the top as well. And so that is that, and this is this. Um, so here we have Spirit. Now, I'm gonna go on record by telling you all, this is the second Spirit figure I had to buy. And when I was trying to set my um, Spirit, I felt like the hip joint wasn't moving right. And it wasn't until I kind of moved down like this and I saw the peg that I realized the ball joint was stuck and I was uh, twisting the peg and nearly took his entire leg off. And when we go ahead and take a look at him, I think they kind of captured a lot of features really well. Uh, very strong facial features, um, strong brow uh, for this character. Uh, we do have the paint apps for the eyes. The eyebrows are lighter than his hair color, um, but we do have his uh, hair in that kind of a blackish, almost bluish look with the headband. Uh, we have braids coming down and both braids are tight off. He does have a full 360 for his, his neck. Uh, he can look up, he can look down. Uh, we can get a little bit of side to side with him. It's not much, uh, but we also have a little joint here on the bottom part of the little, neck. Uh, extension for the neck. Um, we do come down uh, to his shoulders and we have soft goods for his harness here. Um, so we have a little I feel like this is more of a Native American type sheath for his one knife. Uh, so it's a bone, uh, bone handle knife. I think that's actually a bird's skull on the pommel of that knife. Um, and then it looks a little bit more rugged uh, or almost handcrafted uh, as opposed to other knives. So uh, this one does go up here in this spot. We do have the app crunch and again that harness isn't really messing with anything for him so he can get the full extension back and the full ab crunch um, but it does click i feel like it's ratcheted there in this in the abdomen we have his uh, shoulder here we have the the tomahawk in the circle um, for his shoulder patch there we have a sergeant rank on this side both shoulders go completely up uh, both get a full 360 extension and a bicep swivel and we do have a full uh, pegged double elbow. Uh, we have two hands, both are pistol gripping hands, um, and then one has the wrist bend as well as the turn, and then this one um, actually has the up and down movement, uh, and then a full turn. Hands have gloves on them, they're leather. Uh, we have a, a gold bracelet, bracelet on either side here, or a bracer. does have a couple of uh, pegs uh, in the forearm, and that's for his uh, pet bird his eagle uh, to sit on the eagle does have two um, pegs on his feet and this is one of a couple spots that he can sit so you can put um, his eagle on his forearm uh, for the character and it will sit there it doesn't seem like it puts too much weight or strain on his forearm so if you want to keep them uh, on the arm like that you can uh, we have more soft goods for the belt we have silver app um, everything is done in a brown to simulate leather uh, we have clips um, on the back here ammo pouch uh, three of them around his waist uh, outside of the clips for his, his gun we do have his uh, nine millimeter um, holster for his leg and then we have the other knife holster on the other side there so we'll go ahead and bring those out. Um, so we have the other knife, which I would say is more military issue. And it just slides in there. All right, 
And then so I've got his knife in there and it's not gonna mess with anything too. Oh, wow, wait a minute, hold on. And lo and behold, the ball joint for the hip is frozen in the in the actual socket. Damn it! Uh, so everything I'm doing as far as turning this leg goes, I'm putting strain on, on the inner part of the hip there. So I, I won't be able to move his hip. So that's two figures, two for two hip issues. Uh, if anyone else is having hip issues with this figure, would you please put it in the comments below and let me know? Um, because after my um, snafu with uh, Hudson uh, from the Gargoyles line, getting another figure with issues on it um, is, is just a quick way to piss me off, I think. We'll put the 9mm in its holster there. Um, this, if his hips are working correctly, you're going to get a, a movement about that yay, about yay high. Um, back was going to go about that far. Um, he would get about that much in the split. Uh, you will get a double jointed knee. And you will get um, forward and back on the ankle and then a tilt. Um, and you should get a shin tilt as well. And if I recall, you do get a thigh swivel. Um, so you do see the, the separation for the thigh there. And you'll get a thigh swivel uh, for the figure. Next, he does come with his own uh, rifle. Snipe. It's not a sniper rifle. I don't know rifles. Um, and, and I probably should have looked this up before uh, doing this review. Um, so I'm not sure what this actually is. Other than I know it's bolt action. I know he's got a sight um, on it. And uh, the clip, of course. And it looks like he's got a... Um, shoulder guard and probably a cloth over the, the butt of the rifle there. He's got a muzzle or a flash suppressor on the front. Very plain brown paint and then the rest is just black. No dry brushing or anything like that. Wow. His backpack and he has the um, stand for his bird again. There's two holes there and you have the um, the pegs on the feet. Sad day when the bird has better hip articulation than Freaking spirit does. Um, so, yep, he'll sit there on the backpack. So you have another spot, basically, to hold him. Um, you got pouches on the back, all in a tan. You have a peg here for weapon storage. And then, of course, you can put him on. Put this on the back back there. So um, we have spirit and his eagle right there. And I'm going to assume that you can take the rifle. No. Yeah, you can. So you can put the rifle in there. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go, I'll be honest. Um, but it's an option. And we're going to take a quick look at his bird. So the bird does have his feathers, um, his wings, that sit and they move forward. So he has the articulation uh, for the wings. And he does have a bit of a head articulation, so you can have him for flying and kind of for for sitting um, on the post or on his arms. Uh, the legs do move up and down, and you do have a twist uh, for the feet. And you can pop the wings off because they're just on a ball and bring in his second pair of wings that just fit in and plug in just like that. You could have him flying. Um, Overall, uh, for Spirit, I'm going to go ahead and say if I had to give him a grade out of 10, I'm going to give him, um, right now, I'm going to give him a, a 7.5. I wish it could have been more. And maybe um, maybe once I fix the hip, uh, I'll change that. Thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And thanks for uh, spending time with me talking about toys.